Oh, uh, exciting. Hello, everybody. Ooh, Why are we moving so fast? <laughs> look out, look out. I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Vince Gilligan, executive producer. Brian Cranston, I remember this day. Jonathan Banks, and I don't. Uh, Aaron Paul. Tom Schnauz, I'm not sure where I am right now. <laughs> Michelle McLaren, executive producer, director. And Dave Porter, composer. Nice music here, Dave. Thank you, yes. Uh, oh, look at that. That's oh. so cool. We should uh, give a shout out here to our amazing mixers, Jeffrey and Eric, because we spend an awful lot of time on this uh, opening segment with all the music and sound effects and general mayhem to get it all sounding terrific. And a shout out to our incredible grips, who did a lot of rigging this day. Yeah. And stunt drivers must have had some serious stunt drivers. And some drivers. amazing stunt stunt drivers. Absolutely. Yeah, well, gotta, don't think them. Yeah. Yeah. Forget I mean, that. Come on. Yeah, don't Al, overdo Al it. Al Gatto brought a lot of cool guys in this day to, to do some great driving. Did this take a long time to shoot? I Michelle had a whole day to do this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Was it? Well, yeah, yeah, we did. We yeah, had a day. Yeah. And Michelle goes like that. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Just, Thanks, Jonathan. <laughs> that's why you can never, you know, accurately predict page count and how long it'll take to shoot something. Big, well, this uh, takes a lot of work. There's a lot of, of camera mounts and, the, and uh, different cars. We had three different um, Aztecs that we were doing. This is a crane shot here. It was, it's a lot of setup time. We had to close off, I think we had 11 PAs closing off three city blocks. Wow. And it's over. Oh, my God. Wow. Why, why do you have to close off the street? Wouldn't it be more exciting if you did? <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, is that was only three blocks. That whole thing was just the same three blocks. Yeah. So sort of like in the in the old Warner Brothers cartoons, yeah. the yeah. same background. The repeating background goes by. Pretty much. <laughs> if, you look, if you look very closely, you oh, see the same background that. go by. Wait, but that was me. No, it wasn't. That's me. This is Brian right here. Yeah. yeah. Dude. No, it's not. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> I did do that. You did do it. I'm yes. not kidding. Sure you did. Tom, thank you. <laughs> AFOB. Yeah. This is one of the few times I can remember where we pick up right after the credits where we left off right before them. And to have the score keep sort of keep the momentum rolling right through here. That's true. Normally they're sort of their own entities. That's true. I like the way you did this very much. Still. Yeah. Twisters. This is a, a restaurant in Albuquerque called Twisters, and the folks here are very nice, and they let us put up our signage to turn it into Los Pollos Hermanos. And still, people pull up while we're <laughs> shooting and go, I want to get a breakfast waffle. Yeah. This here's is, uh, here's another... my favorite Pollos Hermanos employee. <laughs> I love this lady. This she's is great. another non-actor you discovered. Well, she's 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 wonderful. She does a, she does an excellent job. What? He's here. And wasn't she from the? She wasn't from the. He was here. From a couple of years ago, right? When we first started with this story. What? Well, uh, yes, she we she dates back to uh, the one of the last episodes of season um, two. Season two, yeah. And her oh. name is Ashley, uh, Ashley Kajiki. If I'm pronouncing her name wrong, uh, right, and I, I hope I'm uh, Ashley. I got that part no, probably right. Probably wrong. <laughs> probably wrong. But she's very sweet and she does a really good job. You got it. You got Ashley. I got Ashley. And I think the uh, the Poyos, uh, the painting, the mural on the wall, right by the, uh, if uh, uh, it's out of frame now, but off to the right side of that frame and the Brian shot. I think they leave that up year round. I think the folks at the oh, uh, do they? at the folks at the at the restaurant. Yeah, I think they do. Yeah. You notice that Nelson Cragg is the director of photography on this mm -hmm. episode, and that's uh, for pragmatic reasons. Michael Slovis, who directed the episode after this, was prepping during this week for his episode, and that's why we had to bring in another director of photography. And Nelson did a great job. He Maybe stepped great. in seamlessly and, and took over and was a wonderful asset. Yes, he did. The, yes. La the ladies love Nelson. He's a sexy, sexy man. He is. He is indeed. He is. <laughs> And when you say the ladies, you mean me. <laughs> right. I love this shot. I don't know what it is about this shot, but I love, I don't know. I like the way the two ladies there look uh, Look off to the, I don't know, that, that works for me. Good job there, Michelle. Thank you. Good they directing. They really did a great job. Damn good directing. What what episode is this for you? How many have you done at this point? How many episodes uh, you directed of Breaking Bad? At, at this point, I think this was number uh, uh, six, maybe? 
Yes. That's Nelson Craig right there. <laughs> <laughs> he did a little cameo, and that's what the ladies are excited about. <laughs> we got that great. Remember, we, we yes. surprised in the editing room. There's a great bit of footage. It was it was uh, it was an outtake. It, it was uh, Michelle the, whispering in that actor's yeah. ear to give him some direction. Right, and when I and I slipped out of the editing room to to go to the ladies' room, and I came back, and we were picked up where we left off, and these guys had dubbed in me whispering something inappropriate yeah. to that guy and he rolls his eyes. It was a, yeah, it's like, so, I want to do nasty things well, to you. It was uh, Sheridan, our uh, editorial assistant, had, had does a very good Michelle and it dubbed in, uh, <laughs> meet me behind the dumpster in 10 minutes. I'm not wearing panties. <laughs> and then he oh my rolls God. his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> but only... And I didn't know they had done this and I've seen there watching it. And then he makes this face like, ugh. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. Oh, we, ought put it on, we ought to put it on the. Uh, you know. Should just put it back in the episode. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Jesse. Yeah. What's up, Jesse? We, we. So here it is. Walt is uh, the hero coming to save Jesse, and now he has to listen. Are you all right? To this little shit. Does he have a gun? Yeah. Be dismissive. No. What's going on then? Uh, we're driving. And this this driving stuff was very challenging because uh, if you guys remember that day, we got hit by a sandstorm. Oh, no. mm -hmm. And so the look out the window kept changing. And we got lost to light very early. Why is he driving you? Where is he going? It's me. How, how far away from our studio are you on this? Uh, probably not that far, right? It's actually closer to the windmill right. set. So it was a little It was a little ways out. out. Yeah, oh, okay. we, we had this great windmill location that's coming up. And so we did some of the driving near that. And we were actually really lucky that the sandstorm didn't come in until after we had finished at the, at the windmill. Without him, okay? That's what's going on. But it does Goodbye, Walter. Mike. I love how long-suffering you are, Jonathan. <laughs> with, with the... And this was a big driving episode. We had did a lot of different handheld in the car. We did insert car and, and tow rig, and, and um, we did a lot of different uh, methods for this because there was so much time spent in the vehicles. There's some more of that wonderful Dave Porter music. Mm -hmm. Sir, what goes into writing a cue like this, uh, Dave? Uh, Aside from a love for money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Am I working on Breaking Bad? Yeah. Um, no, yeah. Uh, blood, sweat, tears. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. You yes. know, I, we've, I'm happy to say that we've been doing this long enough that I feel like I know all these characters well enough that I, I, I kind of get in them in the mode for, for each of them pretty quickly at this point. And there's another wonderful Chrysler product <laughs> right there. <laughs> uh, and that's the car they're going to give you. Yes. And, you know what? <laughs> at, at this point, I'll take it. <laughs> that car I loved. I loved it. What is that, a LeBaron? No, what is it? No, a New Yorker. A New Yorker, that's a New uh, Yorker. Park Avenue, no, excuse no, me. No, yeah, I, yeah, lost Park Avenue, I lost my yeah, head. I lost my head. I was going to say. Lost my head. With a Landau top. Park Avenue. Uh, it's always interesting to me when we see so many shots like this in movies that they take the rearview mirror off the windshield and you don't ever really notice it when you're shooting through the windshield. It's yeah. a strange thing. And yeah. then you turn around and there it is. There, there yeah. it is again. There it is, uh, but nobody notices. This was. Huh. But that, that shot where um, Aaron's hands reaching in for the keys, we had to do it on an insert trailer because we, of course, took the door off and had to get the yeah. camera down low. But so the, it shot at all different times. But the, but the car was, I imagine, was standing still for that one close-up, though, right, of the keys. That's the car beautiful. wasn't moving, right? Yeah. Um, I can't remember whether we grabbed that while we were shooting other stuff. Note the cable turning the uh, oh, windmill from the, from the ground. See that cable? <laughs> it's just a rope hanging down from the windmill, then. <laughs> you don't even notice. It, it looks like a guide wire. <laughs> but thanks yeah. for pointing it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's one, one hair's, hair's width breadth from winning the Emmy. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, another podcast I've I've made fun of Michelle for 
shooting so much windmill. And I'm going to take that opportunity again to say <laughs> there's like eight hours of windmill footage. Well, she is. All I'm going to say is Sergio Leone, Once yeah. Upon a Time in the West. <laughs> his famous, I was inspired. His famous windmill study. Uh, <laughs> I, I, this is a nice one. I think more of uh, uh, Christopher Walken with his cowbell. More cowbell. <laughs> more windmill. <laughs> it's it's a, for but cowbell. It's, it's, it's an approach. She's put a windmill inside the Walter White's house and it was like, <laughs> how does this track? I don't understand. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. It works thematically. Yeah. Did, didn't the crew make a windmill for you at the... Uh... They do. I actually was looking at it this morning. It's in my backyard. It's beautiful. <laughs> nice. It's a replica of that, a little smaller. The this was, this did... was good stuff, Michelle. Thank you, Jonathan. I know. This, the script was written middle of nowhere, and this is, a, I mean, it's a great location, so it I is. am very happy. Well, our locations department, Alex in our locations department, he found this, and he came into the office with the biggest grin, and he showed me the pictures, and I said, oh, we are shooting here. And we had to Look really fight to get this location. Locations did an amazing amazing job with this. And there are the cables pulling that windmill. Uh, <laughs> the windmill did give us a great opportunity to use the yeah, windmill did, as sound I'll design. I'll tell you yeah. what your guy did. He put he put cow pies everywhere. And he said, so you'll be able to tell as you know, walk through these. You're right on the way that you go there. <laughs> and, Is that right? Yeah. it was. You had to get rid of the poop. Let me tell you, though, they weren't cow pies. They were human pies. I made them, my, I made them myself. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Vince. Jonathan has a, a, a knee injury that was acting up a little bit. And, Jonathan, you were such a trooper because you had to do that a lot. This episode was very physical for you. What a guy. It was, uh, but you look so cool. I am cool. You are so cool here. <laughs> a trooper. And scary. Cool. This is a classic yeah. example of our... We don't use scary music because <laughs> we, we need to. Well, <laughs> we I, have Jonathan Banks. I <laughs> love, I love the, uh, just the sound of the windmill. I yeah, think it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, It's great. I love that T-shirt Jesse's wearing, too. That, was it uh, Felix the Cat? I think so. M more stuff from your personal wardrobe? Oh, uh, yes. yes? <laughs> <laughs> now, our, our wonderful uh, costume designer, Kathleen DeToro, finds great stuff. Terrific shot selection, it really is. Thank you. Well, Very well good framing. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Um, Nelson and I had a lot of fun setting this up. It was good. This was a pretty good day as far as getting stuff done. You did all this stuff, all the driving stuff, mm -hmm. in the middle of a sandstorm. Mm -hmm. We lucked out that the sandstorm kicked up right, probably right after we left here. And didn't, um, Aaron and, and Jonathan, didn't the car, didn't we get it stuck at one point? Never. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, uh, we did. That That was because of uh, Jonathan Banks trying to really take this corner at, at a at a speed that he should not be. You know what, as somebody you know, as young as you are, you're such right. an old lady. You're always oh, going, right. you know, <laughs> I don't drive too fast. <laughs> Well, it was very heavy, sandy roads. We'll give you that. Yeah. Get in a car. <laughs> <laughs> that was, what, is that right behind our studio, though? Isn't it? No, it's, no. it's actually no? out by, uh, oh, what's what's south of us? Um, Los Lunas? Los Lunas. Go, is baby. Go, baby. Like yeah. Put it down. See, Throw the hammer yeah. down the dirt road. <laughs> this was actually a really gloomy day, and we were hoping for the blue sky, uh, white fluffy clouds. And when we got out there and we saw this, we realized, you know, this is this is actually better because it's more ominous. Yeah, mm. that's a good point. That is true. This freaking guy. I love this. <laughs> like, I love that animation. Yeah. Scarface had sex with Mr. Rogers. It's Nigel Gibbs who plays Tim. I love Nigel. Back from season two. Mm -hmm. Right. He's great. He's just he's just a solid he's just an excellent actor. He yeah. just he just just absolutely yeah, well, believe him. No offense. And this is the DEA fun run shirt. This was uh <laughs> our, we uh we we love that uh, that kind of cuz cuz way back when uh help me out here Tom, we uh uh uh, uh Asak Merkert mentioned um, that uh Gus Fring uh, uh sponsored the DEA fun run, yeah. Right. So hence, hence this T-shirt. We kept, I think, we kept trying to have a fun run episode. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but it never quite materialized. But the idea here being, if you pay really close attention, you're rewarded with the realization that that Hank is wearing a T-shirt for something that this is probably a T-shirt Gus Fring paid to have made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then look closely at the collar and all that. They they have to wear these things to yeah, make it look it looks like it's really it, great. Yeah, make they it look wash like, it and make it fray a little bit and. Yeah. yeah, wash it with like BBs or rocks or something mm -hmm. to make it look older. It's a guy. Neighbor saw at. And this is a real house. Um, uh, not not a set. This right. is a house. Uh, Fred. 
Fred and uh, oh, hang on. June. 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 Fred and June, uh, yeah. a couple who own this house, just wonderful people, just as uh, sweet as they can be, good, good people. And we, we usually shoot this practically on location, but there has been the odd occasion. Uh, in season three, we had to build a piece of this bedroom on stage just for scheduling reasons, but most of the time we go here. It's a very nice house because it's big. It's uh, got, mm-hmm. you know, and which, which you know, which, which you certainly need when you got 100 people in a house, as anyone who's ever had a party knows. Or, but, but on top of that, it's a party with people carrying around, you know, 500 pounds of equipment. Thousand pounds. It's an invasion into someone's home. Yeah. So. Well, and they're amazing because we go in there and we paint part of the, some of the walls purple and we put up purple <laughs> curtains and, <laughs> and they leave it there for us. Do they really? They they, well, they just leave well it for all the season. season. Yeah. Wow. They have to live with that purple. With the purple. <laughs> Betsy Brandt's kind of tired of the purple thing. I think a little bit. <laughs> really? God bless her. This was the dirtiest place in Christendom, right here. Oh, stop I love, complaining. I love this. Who's the old lady now? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's, there's dead pigeons. There's oh, stuff. We what, put those stuff there. Falling <laughs> out. Oh, oh, Hollywood wow. pigeons. Awful. <laughs> And this was the night that Michelle decided to go till 6 o'clock in the morning. Well, we had an all-night all night shoot. Show. It was a night we exterior. Did. You understand, dear. We had to shoot this in about an hour and a half because we were going to lose our light because we were going into an all-night shoot. So this is in, late in the day. This is the old abandoned train station, I think, in Albuquerque. Right. Which you have seen, uh, you've seen in a lot of movies. If you've, I can't even think of which ones off the top of my head, but you see this in a lot of movies, actually. Which is why we almost didn't shoot here. Because yeah, it's beautiful. Look at that. It's it gorgeous. Is, it is great looking. It, yeah, I, I was a little, I don't like shooting places that have been shot a bunch of times before, but having said that, uh, uh, Michelle did a wonderful job picking angles that, that seemed uh, very unique and cinematic and didn't re- didn't remind me of, of other times and other movies and TV shows that I've seen this place. Are you saying that Albuquerque now has been shot out? No, it's no. It's like, no, it's too familiar. <laughs> Iconic. No, no, no. I'm not saying that, but certain parts of Albuquerque are a little more uh, known a little more familiar than others, I suppose. Thanks to us, too. A lot. Well, yeah. us, too, yeah. Now, this music transition coming up, Tom, you picked, you found this song. Actually, my, my wife, Your Maya, wife, found Maya, found it. Maya found it ahead of time, which is wonderful because... Like a, a year ago, she's like, oh, you got to use this track on Breaking Bad, and I, like a dick, I didn't listen to it forever. And then it came to writing this montage, and it stuck in my head. It was like, oh, she wanted me to listen to some music, and I huh. thought it was great. Anna Tijoux is the Chilean rap artist... Who does this? And there was a mon- the montage written into the script, and the- oh, there it is! I love yeah. that shot. Yeah, this 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 part is um, done by our time lapse guys. We had a lot of fun doing this. And Aaron, was it your idea to get out and take a pee? Yes. Yeah, that was brilliant. I love that. Thank and then you. <laughs> this we did. Our time lapse guys came up with a new invention. Um, and the camera is moving at regular uh, speed. <laughs> and then Aaron had to hold every one of those positions for, what, 30 or 60 seconds? I can't remember. So, yeah, it was 60 a long time. 60 seconds. So he had to stand there and pick his underwear out of his butt for 60 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Which is common for him. I right, think. I've seen right. him do that for more than 60 seconds. We had a good time doing this. It was really fun. We laughed a lot. <laughs> Jonathan's being suspiciously quiet, though. Was no. <laughs> <laughs> I was just fascinated by the whole thing. <laughs> so, a, a lot of this, Nelson and Tom and I were sitting in the insert car in front of these guys, looking at them and just pissing ourselves laughing. <laughs> you guys did an awesome job. <laughs> You know, at the tail end of other takes like this, we'd like shoot this first and then at the end of it, just yell to them, okay, Jesse, be bored. Yeah. yeah. Be frustrated. And, and Aaron, you came up with a lot of great, great stuff. There's some things that didn't make it into it. I really liked one thing that got taken out, this, the fart noises we were oh, making. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. There's, made there, there's fart wit. Boy. You know why? You know God, why? You wouldn't want to lose that. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was funny, but I swear to God, when it was in the cut, I, I was like, if I was Jonathan, I'd just shoot this guy in the head right now. <laughs> <laughs> so in, in the script, the original montage was cross-cutting between Walt and the lab and these guys, but uh, in the editing room, they become separated, and it actually... Ended up working a lot better than I, now. I, at first, I was lobbying to 
keep it the way it was, but it, it really turned out great having the separate Walt uh, montage that's coming up. You know, our, our locations department did a great job here because we needed to make it feel like these guys were covering a lot of the state in one day. And um, this is actually near the uh, Hank's house location, and we're up in the mountains, uh, but we're really only just behind the, um, the Schrader house. Mm. And it's a beautiful location. New Mexico is a beautiful place to shoot. It's it's so we're not you're not really that far from Starbucks and McDonald's and all that kind of stuff. Five here. five minutes away, and they found this this road that these there's maybe five houses on. <laughs> I like that exchange. You're not the guy. I just do what I'm told, and now you're gonna do what you're told, which is to sit here, shut up, and stay in the car till we finish our pickups. You got it. This is what Johnson's like all day. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little exhausted. He's a, really exhausted. able to use his real personality. <laughs> this is a great song, Tom. Maya, I should say. Thank you, Maya. It's a little miming by Brian here. There was no no handle off screen. He's just faking that. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, beautiful work. Wow, that was amazing. Can we roll that back and see that again? <laughs> Just. Now, this is great. Yeah. We actually put a rig on Brian and mounted the camera uh, looking back. So the camera's mounted on his body looking at him. Yeah. And whenever Brian would turn, we'd see the whole uh, the whole stage. This is, this is in the Super Lab on stage. So everybody had to leave. So nobody is with Brian. We're all hiding yeah. off the set. And so Brian had to take his own cue and tell us when uh, when he cut. Yeah. What was that like, Fun Brian? Stuff. It's, it, well, it's it, at first it's a little cumbersome, and you're worried about hitting the camera with your, you know, bumping into something. And then this shot is that you take the the respirator and you put your camera uh, lens, you know, you put the respirator over the camera lens, and then I have to be right behind him, right? Or is it? Right. Yeah. Yep. That's how we did it. Yep. That's how we did. Good looking stuff. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. And there's Gail's coffee machine. Mm -hmm. Poor Gail. It's not as strong as he used to make it. I just can't come get that. Oh, what? I love you still got the same watch you had in the pilot. Yeah. <laughs> Piece of crap calculator watch. <laughs> we having second thoughts? Every hour of every day. Yeah, for Walt, this is a schizophrenic episode, I feel, because he's his attention is so divided, so many places, that it's all meant to build up to the end scene of, of you drinking with, with uh, Brian drinking at the Schrader household, and then just, you know, he's been divided with Jesse, and now he's he's got Skyler... Here, worried about uh, what she's going to learn when she leaves the message, I love you, on the machine. And uh, then he sees the, the Beneke mug later on, and it all just boils to a head when mm -hmm. he, he blows up later on. This fella did a nice job. The uh, What do you call this? Uh, the notary? Or notary or mortgage broker or, mm -hmm. or whatever it is, yeah. My pleasure. That's right. You're about to you're about to get some here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no music. Sorry, I wrote that. <laughs> I certainly didn't. <laughs> Residuals come my way. You can have them for that. <laughs> I had a nice little sideline from Malcolm in the middle from whistling and humming. Oh really? I'm I'm not I'm not kidding. Or, no, yeah, I'm not kidding. No. Yeah. Every three months, I get a check from residuals from uh, BMI uh, for whistling and humming. Anytime I whistled or hum, it's part music, and they have to pay you. Wow. And I Note remember that, self. Aaron. Yeah. We're yeah. going we're gonna to be yeah. doing some oh, whistling, yeah. brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Aaron didn't realize every time he sings fallacies. Vince and I get paid. That's yeah. true. It's true. That's true. That's amazing. Yeah, amazing About that he doesn't get a cut cents. of that. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I, I, should, I should get something, yeah, well, right? How come he, he sings mean, the song? How come he doesn't get money for that? Yeah. You're awfully quiet about enough. that, Vince. Well, Why are you robbing you know, that, is, that is kind of odd. 
Now I understand why Vince is always going, hey, maybe Eric can sing song? Fallacy. Yeah. 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 I want more money. I'm a member of ASCAP now. You are? Oh. Instead of just being an ASCAP. <laughs> <laughs> And that's why. And I'm, uh, I joined BMI, and they just keep track of all that stuff. Wow. And they send you a check. Which one pays you more? I want to know. I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea. Here it comes. Oh, take her. No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Take her. Oh, it's going to come. <laughs> put, put guacamole on her face and yeah. take her. <laughs> the anticipation's the best part. <laughs> and this whole sex scene, s- scene came about just because... I love watching sex scenes. <laughs> All right. um, but also, we had Walt leaving that message at the very, in the teaser, and we thought, well, what comes of this? And oh, yeah. we just thought, great icebreaker, finally. <laughs> and you don't have to write, Tom. All they do is go in and have sex. You, you got to at least I had a very he, detailed sex scene. He had a very, it was like, did. It was like a penthouse letter. It was. <laughs> we yeah. shot that. Uh, we just, uh, you know, for background. Anyway. It was very detailed. I remember. I was like... Make no mistake, they're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why would I make a mistake? I, I like it. it. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, there it is. Yeah, oh, baby. Yeah. 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 Oh, the only yeah. thing is, is on AMC, you're not allowed to show thrusting. So. Whoa. Okay. Take it off, take it off, take it off. <laughs> We're ripping. I ripped that. I remember ripping that shirt apart. <laughs> and it's, like, and it's, it was, yeah. The buttons go flying. And you have to have multiple shirts because you got to be able to do it more than once. That's a great well, shot. That's kind of thrusting, right? No, but it's, well, it, somehow we got away with it because it's blurred. Out of focus, focus. focus to the glasses. Yeah, that's, I see. That's, and I, Tom, you wrote that shot, didn't you? It was right. Yeah. Yeah, it was right in the, the script, and uh, and well, it was done. it was actually a tricky one to to do because we, we actually had a rack in there originally where we went from them to the glasses, but we ended up cutting it up. Um, Why were you editing. smelling the sheets? Uh, Sorry, Michelle. He hasn't been home for a while, so he's and smelling. And they smell different than when he was last here. Huh? They, oh. they smell like Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not seen this this episode? Yeah, I've seen it. I just don't mm. remember it. Oh. I mean, it's totally forgettable. But. Oh, I do. <laughs> oh, why do you hurt me? <laughs> I do like they, they smell like a fabric softener, I think. I notice what a forest of a chest I have. <laughs> oh, God. Now, when this aired, um, there was a butt shot that I Brian know, did. That well, they, they cut it out. It was, uh, That's a it, was, it, was a, it was a good it was a good shot. I liked it. But I couldn't quite understand why Brian's ass was able to make it into other episodes. But this one, I think we were I get, too because close they had, or something. I don't know. <laughs> 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 no such thing as too it's close. the same as thrusting. They look at the ass and they go, uh-oh, got a thrust. He says it's about the only thing that'll get Hank out of his room. Mom. Whoa. That was great. That was that a great was show. Great. That was, it was tricky, the timing of that. Hey, yeah. Like that blue edge, do that a few times. And then the um, and then the standards and practices folks had to watch it frame by frame to make sure you didn't see any naughty bits. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Naughty bits. Yeah, and there are there are no naughty bits. No. Nope. Look, he knows. I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm parked in the driveway. Oh, this is going to make for some very interesting dinner conversation. He is definitely going to ask about our living situation now. Oh, what a mess you guys made! Oh, yeah. man. I don't Just mind. Went for it. I mean, how many clothes do you wear? He dressed like there's a, a lot of, of clothes like parkas. Yeah. No, that's the bedding. <laughs> oh, okay. It was a lot of it clothes. Got, it got really wild after that. Uh, a couple of homeless lesson. people there with <laughs> parkas and shit. From experience, I could say Vince is very neat when he has sex. He's <laughs> <laughs> just unfolding. This fastidious, yeah. I think, is the right word. It's planned spontaneity. <laughs> like, <laughs> Vince, I'm ready. No, I'm folding my shirt. <laughs> I tend to weep a lot. <laughs> oh, that part, yeah. Well, there was, uh, you'll see coming up when you walk into the bathroom. Oh, good. We went t- <laughs> tighter rather than wide. Mm. Editorially. But uh, you know what? Maybe it'll be. We just uh, do a little Barry White. It could be a little treat oh, for yeah. the... Wait, yeah, maybe yeah. it'll be here. It'll be in the... Yeah, because uh, this is the commentary, so it'll be oh, like the full... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Let me tell you something. Wow. What a nice surprise. Wow. That is... Wow. 
It's my gift to you. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, This was fun. This was great because what, Brian, um, if I remember correctly, we didn't really teach you too much of how to do this. Yeah, just a little bit because Walt never did this and we determined he never really handled this part of it. Jesse did all this, and that's what we wanted to show. Tom wanted to show the difference, what it's like not having Jesse in the lab. And so I kind of got an idea and then jumped on and couldn't really make corners and... And it, this is all real. I'm trying to get past that point. We had a we had a stunt double and never used him. Yeah, and, and, and was, we just let the great. cameras roll. Yeah. And Brian crashed into things, and it was <laughs> it worked great. You know, it's funny because I I've had two separate lessons to drive that thing, and I never got to drive it on film. Oh yeah, you're yeah. right. Because because yeah. we wanted we wanted you to be an expert at it. We wanted you to be really good at it. Yeah. But we never got around to having you. Yeah. Well. And now you'll never drive it. (laughs) (laughs) It's one of our time-lapse shots. Those are fun. Yeah, Yeah. this is, I like this one a lot. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. And those are uh, real employees really doing their thing, right? Uh, Yep. Yeah. The the folks, I got to say, the folks at the, uh, of course, now we're on the stage again, but when you're upstairs in the laundry, the folks who are on the laundry have been real good to us. Real good folks. And the folks who work there are really nice people. You people have me down here trying to complete a two-man operation by myself. It's unacceptable. It's dangerous and counterproductive. Jesse operates. I assume that was not a that was an empty barrel. That's just one. I would imagine yeah. not a not a full one. Yeah. That keeps us on schedule, so I suggest that you get. We had to have a little weight in it. Oh yeah. yeah, a little bit of water or something. And the only time we used a double is, is what's about to happen, and it was. Uh, Who's our wonderful driver that did this? Uh, oh my gosh. Right here. Yeah. He came in and saved the day. Yeah, foam, picked it up, dropped it. Yeah. That's cool. I like that, yeah. Chad. Ray's cool. All right, Jonathan, start complaining. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, this is where we, I remember this. Yeah, this was a I, long. He's impressed by my memory, I'm sure. <laughs> so this took all this was one night all of this yeah well and also the daytime scene when they when Jonathan go get, goes to get the money but this was very tricky and our stunt team led by Algado what did an amazing job here because you'll see well we'll wait till it comes up but um something very tricky happened and took us right out of the park avenue for and put us in the Buick yeah yeah Oh, right, yeah. After that the, Park Avenue was comfortable. It was comfortable. I mean, Chrysler's... Especially on long nights. Mm. So, yeah, in the writer's room, we debated a lot about <laughs> what this was going to be. And it, a lot, some of what happened in 6 was talked about for this episode. But then we realized, once we came to the conclusion that this is all Gus's setup... Right. Yeah. That's when we landed on this and saved uh, the, the going into the, the mess den for the next episode. Right. Right, right. So what time is it? Like this is literally like could be four in the morning or something like that. Well, no, this is this was earlier in the night. What took so long was the actual crash that's going to come up, because um, you know you want to be safe. But we we ended up when when Jesse uh, leans over and starts the car and drives backwards, we put a racing seat in the driver's seat and a stunt man down um, in that seat below the the dash and then we built the seat around him so he disappeared into the seat and he drives backwards with by using the side mirrors. Wow. It's, it was amazing and he yeah. has to hit a certain point uh, on the car, the, this car right here wow. that, for that yeah. shot there because we had a camera inside the car looking back over the the driver. Nice. It was, it was amazing. These stunt guys did an awesome job. Yeah, and, they did. And there's a stunt guy waiting in in the in the target car, there's a guy waiting to get hit, and and yeah. it's that's that's ballsy to do that. Well, that, for and that's where we had a camera in the passenger car saw, seat look, over, looking over him. So when the car hits, he turns towards the camera, and so the the car that was driving backwards had to nail their their uh, their spot, or we would miss the shot. But also, the guy had to sit there. I mean, yeah, yeah, a, a he guy, had to, yeah, he had get, to sit there with a the, yeah, get hit by a car. It's that's that's not easy. Uh, they make it look easy, but I'm I'm quite sure it's not. Also, wonderful uh, cue here, Dave. Poor. Thank you. 
Yeah. yeah. And we shot this the last day of the season. Oh, yeah, that's this right. was an added scene, yeah. Yeah. And it was uh, it was great. This is the last thing we shot. Another practical location, a real restaurant mm-hmm. called Garcia. Yeah, this was the last thing we shot of the season. Oh, was it really? Yeah. And this has been in the show before, right, Vince? Uh, Garcia's has been, yes. Uh, uh, Johan Rink uh, did a uh, montage of meth selling. Uh, Jesse was selling meth, and I think uh, Garcia's here was, was that one That place of them. is great. Yeah. It is good. Mm-hmm. People are nice. Actually, uh, Melissa Bernstein and I had uh, dinner in here while you guys were sitting up outside, and yeah. then you came in and joined. All you guys came in at one point or another and joined us. I didn't have a choice. Okay, I'd have put in reverse, slam into the guy's car. This is all. This was all a pickup shot. This whole scene was a yeah. was a, a new scene, an added scene. Well, it was a it was actually originally in the script, but it happened at the alleyway, mm-hmm. but it became a moment where it was like, well, where did those guys go who were chasing Jesse? It just became, felt like we needed a time gap between. Uh, I love okay. this, so, uh, where I tell you to light up, pal. This was fun. Go ahead, kid. Smoke up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I love the relationship. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so glad we were able to get this scene because, as, as Tom was just saying, if we had not yeah. got the scene, the, the logic of the previous scene would have been the original version. He was Jesse was going to come back around like he had circled the whole building. Right. But but That's then, right. but the problem with that would have been, as all the folks watching would have said, "Wait a minute, well, what happened to the guys chasing him?" And and you know, this this worked. This out. way, we can assume he ditched him, yeah, got away, exactly, and then later phoned him because we had another yeah. alley location and we just couldn't make that one so we had to put it back at the train station and it just and then yeah the setup of the train station it just didn't make sense the way that we the scene was shot at the end yeah that worked very well you want me to pour you some juice Uh, i'll take a coffee you guys, you really do seem like, uh, you know, uh, son, dad and son here. You guys uh, have good chemistry. Yeah, together. we do. Yeah. He's, he's a good kid. He's a good kid. He is. He's such a little playboy around town. Hey, easy. <laughs> uh, His well, mom is going to be watching this. <laughs> yeah, he's but yeah, 18. Right. Yeah, he's... Uh, the ladies love him. <laughs> the ladies love him. Are we talking about him or me? <laughs> you. <laughs> Both the play. <laughs> uh, hey, Dad, I, um... Well, here's another piece of Walt's crack up at the end. He, the Benicky mug, seeing that <laughs> son yeah. of a bitch. Very yeah. nicely done here. This is very, very, very subtly and elegantly revealed here, Michelle. It did a nice job with oh, this. Thank you. Because yeah, a lot of a lot of folks would just go in for a big honking close up, and this is this is no bigger than it has to be. Not one bit bigger than it has to be here, which is nice. That. Yeah. Tuesday is it? Huh. Perfect reveal yeah, there. Just barely. Yeah. Very well done. Then it's there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the reaction is priceless. Yeah. <laughs> very it's an well interesting, done. Uh, but um, emotionally, to what's happening to Walt, where, you know, Junior says, Oh, yeah, mom says you're moving back in. Yeah. And here's Ben again. And she's calling the shots. And yeah. all of a sudden, we see the cracks in his armor that yeah. his yeah. ego is taken over. Very well played. Very well yeah, played. Yeah, Brian, you're so great at yeah. those subtle moments. Jesse. Jesse. Very well done. That, that thing about no one is going to tell me what to do. Yeah. Not, not least yeah. of all my cheating wife. Yeah. I mean, what are, you, what are you doing here? Where's your car? Mike dropped me off. It looks satisfying, breaking up all that stuff. It is fun. You've tried it, haven't you? I think I have, yeah. Breaking yeah. the glass. Yeah, yeah, kinda... well, you have to, Aaron has to be careful of his eyes. He can't hit it too hard because it can It'll shatter, shatter back up, up into yeah. his eyes. Why, because he's a pussy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, it was either that or the shards will come back up. I can't remember which one it was either. Is it pussy or the shards right. will come back in his eyes? Or maybe some mixture of the two. Yeah. <laughs> I love the lighting here. Yeah. Guarded Mike? What is this, some kind of a joke? And you know what? Two dudes try to rob us, and I saved the stash. I took care of business, just like I'm taking care of business right now. You want to stand there dicking around, or you want to suit up and get to work? <laughs> Get in gear, yo, if you want to do this, because I'm meeting up with Mike this afternoon. This ungrateful little shit. Yeah. <laughs> like I fucking ran to a restaurant with a gun in my pocket, ready to save you. Yeah. And here you are. I love that this man puts out his own trash. <laughs> this big kingpin. It's hard right? to find good help. It is. Yeah. 
They haven't dumped the trash in quite a while. No, no, no. <laughs> and, and just for people to know, right on the other side of, of John Carlos' head are ostriches. Yes. There's a bunch of a, ostriches. Real live, it's true. Real live ostriches and an emu and or emu, however you say it. Yeah, I don't know why the hell they're there, but they're there. <laughs> I went trying to take a picture of this thing. It's like seven feet tall, seven and a half feet tall, and I've, it comes right up to the fence. And I'm about to take a picture, and then I'm thinking, this thing could literally reach over the fence and peck its its beak right through the top of my head and that kill would, me. That would yeah. be cool to see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Roll film. <laughs> <laughs> a sense of future episode. Yeah. <laughs> They're so scary. I know that they look like dinosaurs. They yeah. really do. Because apparently, you know, modern day birds come from oh, dinosaurs. Oh, don't be a pussy, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> what is that big orthopedic steering wheel you got there, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan insists on having that. It was, it was, that was like in his yeah, It's that was a request. A senior. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> the dashboard cover. I love the, the fact. Uh, <laughs> look at all the purple. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like there was more purple this season than other seasons, but maybe, I don't know. Is this where the, uh, I think I just noticed that uh, there's a big wedding dress. She's wearing a purple wedding dress. Right, oh, yeah, right there. sure. Right yeah, right there. there. The oh, look at that. Well, what's so funny about that is that is that for <laughs> Hank and Marie's wedding, official wedding photo, <laughs> it's, it's just, just Marie. Right. <laughs> 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 that is a great touch. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, I didn't even know about that. That's That shows the level of detail that all the departments put into the into yeah. this show. I didn't even, that, that's a fun surprise for me saying that. Well, there's another bottle in the kitchen to help yourself. And Betsy's, mm. Betsy's great. But, Dane, all these, you guys are all great together. But the cast was so amazing. The scene was a lot of pages, a lot of dialogue, and uh, we had a lot of fun doing this, and it went very efficiently and, and really well done. And our prop department painted the uh, corkscrew purple. Look at this. Yeah. Everything, yeah. Powder coated. Well, there's something. a website <laughs> for purple things. I think that one they actually had to paint, but they get a lot of this stuff on a purple web website. I was afraid you're going to cut the hell out yeah. of yourself here. That's pretty uh, aggressive there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Don't mess with you me. You did your own <laughs> stunts. <laughs> Dude. Wow. I, mean, I love just staying on Brian here and just watching just the events of the, the episode sort of adding up in his head. And just yeah. Like, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. It smells the core. I smell it. <laughs> Every connoisseur. Yeah, I, I like learned that, that touch. from. A, a, I love that. I love the give the give the tip there. I learned that the from cheers. a Bolivian sommelier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I, I, I can't wait to see what kind of car I'm going to get for my birthday. Now, kind of a watered grape juice. I think it's what we use. It's not vodka with purple food coloring. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, Nick the Greek. You going to share that bottle or what? Uh, yeah, sorry. He's Nick the Greek. Nick the Greek. He's a famous big-time car player. You gave me such a pain in the butt about Nick the Greek. What? It's a compliment. Well, I wanted a modern-day poker player. I, I wanted, I, I, I think the original was Doyle Brunson or yeah. somebody. And Vince yeah. didn't know who Doyle Brunson was. Oh, boy. But no one seemed uh, to know who Nick the I'm like, Nick the Greek. He's Nick the Greek. <laughs> Anyway. And Doyle Brunson would have been better, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We know who Aaron, Doyle. you agree, right? Yeah, yeah Doyle. Totally agree. Absolutely. <laughs> Unless you're appealing to everyone 65 and over. <laughs> you know, if that's your hey. target market. Hey. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, Nick the Greek, you know who he is. <laughs> Sounds like an encyclopedia of brown. But the, yeah, is, we took a poll in the office, and uh, and nobody else knew Doyle Brown's ones either. Yeah. So I was like, okay. And then I fired everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this is so great. His ego is just. My, I was watching this episode recently with my mom, and she was yelling at the television, "Stop yeah. talking! Yeah. Shut up!" <laughs> <laughs> it's a great shot here. Yes. Love this pushing. I mean, we're talking five stars, candles, and white tablecloth. <laughs> This, this is the, yeah, the, the straw that broke the camel's back is hearing how great it, Gail Bedecker was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's the guy. This is one of those scenes where we talked about music, too, and decided it was just better without. Something good. I don't know. Who knows what could have helped humanity or something. Hank does kind of lay it on thicker. This was another <laughs> I moment. I love him. He was so yeah. great. This moment reminded me of the moment uh, a season or two before 
in the parking lot when he realizes, what am I trying to be a handyman for? Put down the paint and go oh, out. This is my territory. Yeah, yeah right, yeah, right. It just yeah. kind of had that, that egotistical front. So, that was a great scene. And this is just my humble opinion from what I saw on those papers. You play a good drunk. Yeah, doesn't he? That's great. Mm. Hey. A lot of practice? Or was it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was no reasoning, no deductions in those pages. So to my I just, eye, I watched Jonathan really Banks. Yes. And then the study. <laughs> and sober. Yeah, around the study. Yeah, the study. I was like, ah, oh, there he goes. Okay. I'm going to file that away. That was good. Mm -hmm. Believe me, I have been around enough students to know. And we get the, the fun ending of uh, Walt reactivating Hank, putting him back on the trail. Genius. Yeah. Actors. Maybe he's still out there. Oh, dummy. Idiot. <laughs> Hank just pulls out his gun and shoots him. Hi, <laughs> 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 uh, Tim stopped by. He he brought over some. I like those pants. I know. I picked those. I'll take another They're not purple. That's great. Those no, we introduced a little yellow for Maria this Sorry, year. Actually, a little little is the oranges there. Yeah. You gotta have some counterpoint to the purple. This is very sweet here because he's been yeah. such a jerk to her. And, oh, he's been a bastard. And now he's yeah. he's showing just even a slightest bit of of kindness or communication. And Betsy does a great job of revealing that that pleases her. Yeah. She's cute. Mm -hmm. We love Betsy. We never go back to the rocks after this, do we? This is I, no, minerals. We, sorry, minerals. Minerals. We we did have a scene. We talked about him throwing them all away mm -hmm. one by one off his balcony, mm -hmm. but we never did it. Oh, this is when he discovers it. Yeah. Hmm. You find something? Oh, just this. It's kind I like of how everyone is so uh, just. You know, everything he... Wrapped. He, he oh, yeah. Well, it's... Dean's mm. performance here. It's the writing. <laughs> <laughs> Dean's yeah. so great. And your hand motion to shut up. Shut up. Very <laughs> 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 uh, right, good. Fantastic. Good job, everybody. Great job. Good job, uh, uh, everybody. Thanks good for listening. Job. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye, Thank kids. You. Thank you.